Welcome back. Good song. There are two great Australians on the grid for this week's Melbourne Formula One Grand Prix. But there's another driver who's considered down under a second home and loves everything Aussie. Weekend today's Clint Stanaway caught up with Valtteri Bottas ahead of the race, getting a look inside his new Aussie inspired ride. Born to be Fight enough with Uber Car Share to create the optimal best uh, road trip car with all the features. So this is my car. Jeez, it looks good. Yeah, and the mechanics as well. I um, you good style. They've all got mullets. Yeah. yeah. That comes with the car, right? You gotta have to drive this car, you gotta have a mullet. That is a, that is a good mullet. Need a 360 view. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's actually having my 12th front wheel out here, but uh, always love going back in Australia in general. First one is uh, DRS bug reduction system. Because <laughs> 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 the bug reduction that is very very important here in Australia. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is very ornately Australian. You got the pluggers, or the songs. So what, do you, what do you call them? Songs. Oh, it's a song storage. Okay. And probably one of my favourite features is the fresh water shower. Oh, here we go. You know, we have got a shower. Guys, we got a shower. And what car wouldn't be complete without a heel source? Or me, heel source. Anyway. Uh, it's a bunch of smart road drying. So okay. Yeah, the more I come back here, uh, I always have more and more support. So, um, yeah, it's almost like a whole property from coming here. You have to show the inside. My warmer. Yeah. You mean quite warmer. It, it, it's, it works. Yeah. I like this too. And this one, yeah. I mean, yeah. this is, every car in Australia had one of these in the 80s and 90s, but are they making a comeback? Yeah, they are. It makes drop the issue for one on, on one of your cars. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That is so Australian. What you, it's for me. Yes. Okay. Um, thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers, Clint. <laughs> what going on there, wasn't there? Yeah. I don't know about that what's outfit. What's going on? He's wearing this yeah, very daring. Mm. Um, he's Scandinavian. <laughs> he's, a, he's, a bit, he's a funny guy. I quite, yeah, he's I quite like him. I quite yeah. like him. He's finished. With the um, speed dealer Sunny's on and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just getting Mullers, into it. Just getting into uh, but it. Oscar Piastri, uh, he's going so well. Fifth in the yeah. F1 stand. He's got fourth last weekend. So big things expected from the young man. He's Bernie. home. His hometown, that's right. My grandmother had one of those sheepskin wheel things. Oh, really? Yeah, 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 because it was so hot in Cairns. Yeah. yeah. Terrible things. It'd be weird to drive. I think they got banned. Yeah. <laughs> Safety concerns. Excitement is building with day one of the Australian Formula One Grand Prix about to get underway in Melbourne. Christina Hearn is at Albert Park for us this morning. Chris, good morning. Record crowds are expected this year. Yeah, they certainly are, Brooke. And I want to show you the crowds outside Gate 1 because we still are an hour away from ga Gate's opening, but there are hundreds and hundreds of people that are lining up just waiting to get in for Day 1 of the Australian Formula 1 Grand Prix here at Albert Park. And I have found probably the most excited Formula 1 fans here at Albert Park. And, I, and a couple of them have actually come from across the Dutch in New Zealand. How excited are you? Very, very excited. I kind of can't believe it's happening, but you know, bring it on and can't wait to meet them all, especially Danny Roke, that's for sure. <laughs> what time did you get in this line this morning? Oh, about 6.30, yeah. It was hectic trying to get in on the trams, but you know, make it work. We're all here for the Formula One. I'm here for Lando, you're really excited. So yeah. Not Oscar? Oh yeah, Oscar show. I mean, like, I mean, come on. Come on, you're in Australia now. You have to go for Oscar Piastri. But I do notice a Fiat Ferrari fan over here. Do you think Ferrari can do it? Hopefully, fingers crossed. It might be the one. Let's see. And we do have some Aussies over here now. Who? I just let me guess. Who are you? Who are you going for? Lando. Got to be Lando. Who are you holding there? Danny. But it can be both. And how excited you are you about today? Oh. Very excited. Um, we've been waiting for this day for like very long. So, <laughs> and show us your Daniel Ricciardo sign there. Now, I have to say, Brooke, that um, this is actually going to be the predicting record crowds because there is it's actually sold out Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That is the first time that has happened. The record over the four days is 444,000, and they are expecting to break that. And as you can see, once upon a time, this was just a men's Grand Prix. Not anymore, because look at the excitement here at Albert Park ahead of the gates opening. Brooke? Oh, how good. Look, I don't much know much about, um, about who's going to win. I just hope that all the cars have a good time. <laughs> the all cars the go pretty fast, don't they? I thought she said cars is true. Yeah. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs>
Okay. What's my name again? Oh my God. Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports, and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?